Hey, this is Eric at Techno RV, and in this video, I want to talk about the Surge Guard 40301 wireless monitor that works with the Surge Guard 34951 and the 34931 units. And really, in this video, I just want to show you what the screen looks like and all of the information that you will be getting uh, from this wirely, wireless monitor. And uh, in essence, it's pulling the information from my surge guard unit that's out on the power pedestal. So let's take a look at what you get on the screen here. Okay, so this is the screen that you will be seeing. And what you'll notice is that, uh, I don't know, every eight or 10 seconds, the screen will uh, go into sleep mode, and that is to preserve the battery life. It takes three AAA batteries, and uh, you'll see it goes into sleep mode there. And to wake it up, you can just hit any button. So I'm just gonna hit this left-hand button here, and it will fire it back up. Uh, so uh, here's my battery life over here. Uh, it's basically saying RV on. If you see something that says no link, that means that you are not connected to the surge guard uh, unit and that you will need to go through the setup process. I've got another video showing that. Also, this is your signal strength over here. It's showing that I've got very low signal strength, uh, but I've always got good connection here. So um, I wouldn't so much worry about the signal strength bar because uh, I can show uh, low signal strength, medium signal strength, but yet I've always got my data coming in here. So let's just take a look at what we have here. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm keeping the, the, the unit on from going to sleep just every few seconds or so. I'm tapping the left hand button. You just may not be able to see what I'm doing down there. But uh, what you have here is you have your volts. This is for a 50 amp unit right here because I've got two hotlines coming in. So the voltage on line one is 121 volts. You can see that right here. And line two is also 121 volts. So I've got great voltage here. My frequency is set at, is at 60 hertz, which is exactly where it needs to be. And then uh, up on your upper right-hand screen here, you've got the number of amps that you're drawing per line. So I'm drawing 17 amps on uh, line one, and I'm drawing uh, 26 amps on line two, and then you've got your kilowatts reading down in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, now, to show you how accurate this is, I'm going to have Tammy uh, turn on the microwave, and then you'll see the amps jump up, so you can hear her clicking away back there. And she just turned the microwave on, and you can see that line one jumped up to 29 amps. So you can see, as soon as you start drawing more amps on a particular line, it's going to show you that very quickly. Now, you've got three buttons down here on the bottom, uh, and, uh, and basically the right and left buttons are to scroll through the different screens you have. So if I go all the way to the left, this is the screen I'm gonna see. If I hit my uh, right hand button, then the next one is gonna say, hey, do I have any active faults right now? So let's say I had a low voltage issue and uh, my unit cut me off because of that, then it would show me that right here. The next screen is uh, uh, basically my historical faults that I may have had if I hit the left or the right button again, I'm sorry. And, uh, and then if I hit the right button again, it's basically just giving you the, the model number. And, uh, and, and so that's kind of all you have there. So then if I just hit the left button to go back again, this is the screen I like to stay on. You can mount this unit somewhere if you like, I don't do that. I just leave it on the counter, and if I ever need to pick it up and kind of see what's going on out at the pedestal, then I can just hit a button and see what's going on here. If I ever were to have a fault in the middle of the night and, and my power went off and I wanted to see what was going on, then I would just pick my unit up. Uh, I could hit the left button and then start scrolling to, with the right button and uh, see what kind of faults I had going on there. So it's really a great unit uh, to get that information from your surge guard uh, that customarily, uh, before this model came out, you had to go out to the pedestal to read this information. And now you can get it right off of this screen right here. So the middle button uh, on this unit is uh, as designed if you need to do a hard reset to delete out the, uh, the current surge guard unit to maybe resync up with a different surge guard unit, there is a sequence that you would use that middle button to do a hard reset 
uh, and there's instructions on that that comes with the unit and I've also made a video about that as well. So there you have it. That's uh, pretty much everything you need to know about the wireless monitor uh, that is designed, again, to be used with the Surge Guard Portable Units number 34951 and 34931.